I guess we're all we're waiting here, everybody. Um, all right, we got 30 viewers. We're down a little bit from earlier, but that tends, you know, that happens when you go to Cube. We're back on the modern. Um, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And my name is Dylan Hovey, and you've found your way onto my stream. If you guys like it, please hit the follow button. If you'd like to ke ke check out content from YouTube, you can look below. And um, yeah, if you guys really like what you see, you can uh, subscribe to do more. I do uh, deck lists from people uh, for like donations as long as it's within my card hoarder limit. I've got one in the donation queue, but it's a little bit more than my limit, so I've got to wait until I get up there. You do. Discard spell and pack. Oh, uh, we don't want that. Even though I cast Lingering Souls, I still think we don't want this because we want early interaction. Yes, we do have a pillow pile, a pile in our queue, yes. We are waiting for either for that to become physically available. I did open up a sweet thing in my treasure chest tomorrow, yesterday. Like, I opened up a Gaia's Cradle for one of my friends. Subscribe. That's another thing we do. Every time we have a subscriber, we open up a treasure chest. Coffee's treasure chest was not good today. Actually, I actually think I'm going to run to the bathroom. And we'll be back in one second. Right, we are back. We drew a land. Good thing we bought that other one. We're about to get turn free by storm here, probably though. Unless my opponents, are, I mean, it says they were Jeskai control, but I have a hard time believing that Jeskai control would lead on a steam vent. I mean, they obviously could, but that's, that's not what I said. It like, it seems like a very passive lead off. So I would rather my Tarmogoyf live. My Tarmogoyf, my Grimflayer survive, so. Exactly. I'm a realist. I'm gonna put out this, this 01 heater. I probably should have played my fetch land so that my opponent can't just electrolyze me. Because if my opponent electrolyzed my Tarmogoyf, that would feel bad, and they wouldn't be able to electrolyze it if I had played Wow, is this real life? 
Is this Tarmo Wars actually gonna survive? Wow, this Tarmo Wars is gonna survive. Holy shnikes. Alright, um, so what are we doing? We're probably playing Lingering Souls. Use our mana best. That was insane. I can't believe this thing made it. Made it through. A little cute little Tarmo Wars. You know, old Tarmo Wars, he's gonna be able to eat the deer. God, what doesn't grow dies, and what dies grows a ton of That's my favorite flavor text. We're gonna be, we're gonna be on top of it, and we're gonna remember to fetch. We're gonna know what's up. And now, if my opponent wants, if my opponent wants to pass this time of if they can pass this time of Like that's, you know, that's cool. They're probably like scared now because they see. Um, they see that we, we are now playing Lingering Soul, like the white version. Probably should have played this pre-combat in case my opponent, by some really weird reason, has a Spell Pierce. Hopefully, we don't get Geisted. Don't Geist me, bro. They geist me. All right. I think we're still just gonna beat, beat past this. Oh. Well, that changes the plan. Nice geist, Lenny. I think I'm gonna play this Temple Garden tapped. This went from doing no way or anyone could possibly not have it, hubby to. Dylan Hubby has it every time. And now if our opponent like lightning bolts this early on at the end of turn, then we're gonna have ourselves a five six time of life. That's not happening now. Oh, maybe. Maybe we're just guys we're getting our homeboy path. We buy Tarmogoyf, we hardly knew thee. So I was the wrong land to fetch now, because now my uh, now my verdant catacombs doesn't get a land. So that was a super mistake. Do we have another? Do we have another geist, my friend? Hello, geist, my old friend. Discard. I'm gonna discard this. I'm just gonna attack Flash Lingering Souls back and then play two flares. We're kind of doing it. Like our, our, let's be real, our Grim Flares are never gonna get Delirium. But, like, you know, we can. That's a problem for future us to deal with. Black, green, black, okay. Now I gotta make sure I tap right here. So let's go black, green. Black, green. Now the question is, do I keep this Liliana around? Or do I just like bolt one of them? Okay. I could just trade like my two lingering souls. All right. Flare daddy's down. Where is this going? They're both going at Liliana. So I can just go like this and trade. Yeah, I think we'll do this. We'll lose Liliana. That gets us one piece closer to Delirium. 
they have a bolt, that's kind of going to suck. Oh, wow, they have another healer. It's okay. Wow, we got wrecked that turn. We just got, like, super wrecked. We'll leave this in hand because it's dead. I guess it gets a planes. That was just, like, that was a good sequence of draws from our opponent there. I went from having Grim Flare, Grim Flare, two Lingering Souls tokens, four Lingering Souls tokens, and a Liliana in my past turn to having two Lingering Souls tokens. sit there because they use all their resources last turn. So this, the only card that makes sense for them to have is like a spell queller. Spell queller or like a cryptic command. So I guess I'm just not going to cast these spells. I'll wait till I have something to go to uh, push through. Yeah. There was not really a very good way to get around it. I'm gonna wait to do this until I have something to push to push through. I'm gonna change my thing. This is obnoxious. I guess I'll play out this land now so that I can fetch the planes because drawing the planes would be pretty catastrophic. Oh, I just wanted to, uh, Vardwell. Like, no reason. That's what I was feeling. I started streaming with Abzan. That was the first deck I streamed with. So now, there's the Queller. So we knew that was there. Just get a little variety in. I've got a sponsorship, so I can play a lot of different things. The only decks that I can't play, I can't play like a this. I can't play this Jeskai deck, and I can't play Eldrazi and Tron and Affinity and Lantern. I can't play anything with Mox Opal, Chalice of the Void, or I guess this deck's pretty expensive, so I can't play this deck. But that's pretty much it. Get a little variety. Wow, my stream was shaking from my leg. We're currently 3 0 in this league, so hopefully we can finish this league out. I still like the Shadow Decks a lot, but this, this deck is. I do, I do appreciate what this deck does. This deck's like. Finding a happy medium between Abzan and Death Shadow. Now, I think running the Silver Bullets is pretty wrong, to tell you the truth. Like, 90% of the time, you're traversing for Tarmogoyf, or you're traversing for, um... Or, jeez, Crow. I guess that we did have another land. Like, 90% of the time, you're... I didn't know I played two Overland teams. 90% of the time, you're traversing for, like... It's always right to traverse for the big thing. Like it's like traversing for um, for bullets usually isn't super great. Alright, we're gonna take this. Like you need the like Reclamation Sage I like a lot and Kataki and Shriek Ma. That's kind of it for bullets. And I don't even know if those are necessarily right or not. This is right. I've I've been told that I look like Jerry Thompson. Yeah. I probably should have thought seized first. Yeah, that's likely a mistake. Hopefully my opponent kept that. And I played this instead of this because I really don't want to use this colonnade. I don't want to use this until my opponent sinks mana into the colonnade. So I think it's worth paying a life just to turn on Revolt.
I do need to, I can't really grow a goatee to tell you the truth. I can't really grow anything. I have very weak facial hair game. And a PT trophy, that would be sweet. So before, I guess we're gonna bust this thing inside of combat. This probably means he drew another colonnade. Let's be real, I mean, if we all could get PT trophies, that'd be the dream, right? We get cracked for two. This probably likely, this likely means my opponent is going to this spell. Bolt one of these. Maybe they have another dice? Or they have like, I'm assuming they have either a removal spell or a colony. I don't know what's going on. And we dead. We flooded out. <laughs> hey man, if I had a PT trophy, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be forty thousand I'd be fifty thousand dollars richer. More people would watch my stream. That's almost a guarantee. Okay, so I like the brutalities. I like the lingering souls, the trackers. The Shriek Mob is okay because it kills, it's like traversable to kill for whatever the dumb card is, but I don't think they leave those in. Megan probably would learn magic from a PT champ. Better than she is right now. The brutalities actually aren't that great. I'm, I gotta remember that I'm not playing Death Shadow. And I like the brutalities in this matchup when I play Death Shadow. I think this is good. Because when I'm playing Death Shadow, the brutalities are nice to just be able to like cushion my life total. But I don't really need to cushion my life total in this matchup. Like I'm not really getting burned out. My opponent's not just gonna like tempo me out of the game. sketchy but it's like really good if we draw a land in a resource I really don't want to mulligan in this we have double discard spell into Liliana with a yeah I'm gonna keep this like this is greedy for sure this is very greedy and if you're gonna keep hands like this you have to understand like I'm going I'm going to like it is very easy for me to lose my decision and I'm okay with that because like I think I'm in control of what's going to happen this game because with two discard spells and a Liliana, and if I lose to the top of my deck, I lose to the top of my deck. But I have put myself in a position for that to happen. If that was a green land, we'd snap keep it. I really think that I just want to take these electrolytes. I want to just take the things that cycle and that are really good against Lingering Souls. Like the lightning bolt in the path or whatever. The path is like, my creatures are going to die. I would rather get a land out of it than anything else. There's colonnade. Okay. So, bing bing. Still can't really play this Tarmogoyf. But what I can do is I can go Thoughtseize. Now, we just take... I think again, I'm just gonna take Snapcaster now. Snapcaster is just like, I don't want, like even though I have the spell bomb, I like always taking Snapcaster Mage when I have the chance because it allows me to dictate the pace of the game. I hate having to hold up spell bomb all the time. And if I just get rid of Snapcaster Mage, then I can control the pacing. That's a good draw. So now we can go and hopefully our opponent did not draw a logic knot. Plus with Snapcaster Mage and Lightning Bolt they can kill this Liliana. And that's like not what we're looking to do. Oh, I might want to rip another Snapcaster. Oh, that is such crap. 
That is such crap for my opponent with the Snapcaster. Hallowed Fountain. Though if they go if they go lightning bolt into Electrolyze, then they still get my Liliana. But we do get two cards in their whole turn. Yep, so they are gonna be able to electrolyze it. And now we can play Goyf. Oh, that's a really good draw. So now we get the path. My opponent's just got two lands. That was pretty much like the perfect draw on our deck. And now we gotta hold up this spell bomb so that our opponent doesn't snapcaster us. Though if they were going to snapcaster us, they should do it on their main phase, in my opinion. That's a good draw. We don't have Delirium, but... I'm going to leave the Ghost Quarter up, because I can Ghost Quarter my own land if I need to, to pop the spell bomb and to give me Delirium. And if my opponent bolts this, then I know they haven't drawn a Snapcaster Mage, they just have another land. I don't really want to exile this because it's going to shrink my Tarmogoyf. I just kind of want to like beat over the top of this. And I am winning this race, so... Like, they even need, they need like another path to exile to get this Tarmogoyf off the board. Get this guy, get in there with the Goyf. Play this. And again, we aren't getting rid of this. We're not popping this spell bomb because the way we lose this game is we get path. So I am going to fetch. Fetch probably probably a temple garden. No, we don't. We don't have double light spells. So let's go get. Well, do we have path in our deck? I guess it's reasonable that we might want to go double, double spell, double light spell in a turn. If we ever activate this bomb, okay. Drawing all sorts of heat. My opponent. If it's gonna suck, my opponent blocks here, and then, um, and then like we play this, and they have supreme verdict. would like to cast it. I'm going to play this land out so that we can play a pain-free Lingering Soul next turn. Don't Supreme Verdict me. That's exactly what's happening. That is sad. So we're still at parity and I get the first two draw steps. And now we will pop this bomb because our opponent can't snap path us. Also turns off Logic Knot. Okay, so that bobbles a redraw. All right, that's pretty good. then we will Liliana them after they fetch. Or in their upkeep, whatever. Whatever they want. Whatever they give me the opportunity to. And we have this colonnade answered. I guess I should turn off auto yields and do this now. Because we might draw like, I don't know, we might draw a path. Either I'm 100% probably, okay, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is good for my opponent. God, we have your foot now. I'm gonna hold this land because we have Tireless Tracker. And traverse is like a live draw. But opponent's last card like Okay, 
So now we can plus. Again, we'll ditch the Looming Marsh. Keep this fetch land. I need a Traverse or a Tracker. Traverse or Tracker is going to be big. Probably puts us in a game winning position. We have to make sure to use, like, because our opponent easily could have a spell color. So we need to choose Crow. spell color. I do expect that, so. Alright, that's annoying. But we can deal with that next turn. We just bolt's gone, we know that. Alright, so the opponent's gonna force the colonnade. Do this before it attacks. Hopefully they don't have another one. But if they do, we can just sack, and then if we draw Lingering Souls, we can Edict and then play our souls out. Yeah, there's another Colonnade. Come on. God. Well, I might as well cash it in for this. We are ripping rough. It's not going super great for the home team at the moment. I think my opponent should have done that after they attack with the Colonnade. Because they're pretty much guaranteed... I guess they could draw Lightning Bolt, but you'd still rather just attack with the Colonnade and get a card. And if you draw Lightning Bolt with the Serum Vision, you'll do that next turn anyways. Or after after combat, and you still want to... You won't be able to use it, but you're top deck. So, I guess you could have drawn like a random good card. I don't know, I think you still want to just attack with Liliana attack with colonnade first to see what happens to better inform your scry. Reverse. Right on time. I probably should have thought seized. So the beginning of combat before attackers. We pass this, hopefully they don't logic not me. They could logic not to the moon. Now we definitely, I definitely should Inquisition this turn because they kept lands on top. They kept a bunch of things on top. So we are drawing the Inquisitions for sure. Am I getting bolted? You bolting me, bro? Take this. And we'll take this so that we can get the adequate F6 value. We're gonna pop this on our main phase. We're gonna really hope our opponent didn't draw a Snapcaster Mage. He's getting Cryptic Commanded? No way. We're getting Sphinx's Rev? And Logic Knot to the Moon. Okay. We're cool with that. I mean, it does kind of suck because it denies us a draw step, but like Logic Knot is like an answer to anything that we have. All right, there we go. Come on. Come on, my boy, Grimflare. <clears throat> my boy, Grimflare, you can do it. You can do it. Still gonna hold this land. So we don't wanna play and flashback Lingering Souls because that gives my opponent. Okay, so now, yes, so. Now I think we are going to play in Flashback Lingering Souls. And if we draw a whatever it is, then we draw a Tireless Tracker and we'll just hold it until we get a land. If we draw a Tracker, that is going to be super sad. And our opponents already played their Static Caster. It's unlikely they play more than one. That's been a good set of topics from the home team. But these are our first Lingering Souls we've seen in the top half of our deck. So hopefully we find a bunch of them. All right, so we're gonna turn this fetch land off. 
And then, depending on what our opponent does, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with this green flare. If my opponent just takes this, then we're not, we're not committing flare to the table. Good, good, good. MTGO crashed four times. It's quality program. My opponent's tanking. Braids trigger, that's another trigger. Okay. Braids is the one that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Braids is the one that, gosh, I can't even think. Braids is the one that makes each player sacrifice a creature, right? Yeah. That card always wheels. Like, no one ever takes that card. But it's probably good if you're in, like, this, you know, wicked, dirtily black-white fair deck. <laughs> I do not know what that means. So this is much, again, it's similar to the last hand, so we're going to keep it. Game's in, game's in our hands. And we just, we draw, we draw great. That's a part of being in this stream, we draw great. Okay, so explosive sucks. Snapcaster sucks. I think I'm gonna take explosives because explosives is his only answer to Liliana. I've never seen it played or or played it, to tell you the truth. So I do not know. I think I'm just gonna jam Liliana of the Veil. I think we know, we know four out of the five cards my opponent has. So let's go get Overgrown Tomb. I'm gonna discard planes. We're, just gonna, we're gonna go to Jam Town. Get this forest in play. That's a decent draw. It means that like, if my opponent does rip, I guess it deals with spell card, but we're just gonna ditch planes. Ghost Quarter releases a spell. My opponent's gonna be able to bounce this Liliana with their cryptic, if that's what they decide to do. They might just flash in Snapcaster Mage. If they flash in Snapcaster Mage, I'm all about that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so here comes Snapcaster. Or we get in, yeah, there's, I mean, that's, that's, we'll take that trade. Like, our Liliana is basically going to trade for this Snapcaster. Mom and Pop. Okay. So we can go Thoughtseize, play Lingering Souls. We can get the Cryptic. We can just Edict something, which I kind of like doing. I kind of like going Thoughtseize, Lingering Souls, Edict. Let's see what's in our opponent's hand first. <laughs> Alright, we're definitely just getting rid of both of those now. Do I discard? Probably just, maybe I just discard Lingering Souls? No, I'm gonna need Lingering Souls to win this game. I'm gonna go get this Traverse out of my hand. It's not doing a lot at the moment. Then Lingering Souls trades for two, two things. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're doing there. You're just like <clears throat> the fairest of fair decks. Serum Vision is a good rip. So I'm looking to set up to manipulate here. This is a tight, I, I like playing. This is like, this is magic how it was made to be. This is like the two titans of it. It's like Lingering Souls versus Snapcaster Mage.
So let's ditch both of these. Get both these thought through that way. And then I can flashback, save path for something. Again, I'm going to hold this land. Probably path the mom and pop. Because I'm not really worried about anything else. Besides, my opponent could have ripped a spell card. Like they are representing that. But Pat Mom, Pat, Path Mom. So now I think we just get rid of this because we have that. That that's the only card we can't fight with these spell colors. Wow, opponent just failed to find. Just didn't, they didn't find a base. Oh, they didn't want to shuffle away the top card. So I am just going to trade here, take two. Same clock either way. And it also, like, gives, if I just trade with this and they have another mom and pop, then they just get, like, the Snapcaster in play as well. Snap. I'm going to Snap Serum, okay. And again, we make up some of this card advantage because Lingering Souls is trading with these Snapcaster Mages. We're not trading full cards for them. Speaking of Lingering Souls, trading with Snapcaster Mages. Ding, ding, ding. So we attack for one. And now I think I fetch a basic. I have a forest left, or a swamp. And then we just play in Flashback Souls. And then if my opponent finds a way to deal with this, like even, like their best draw would be like Electrolyze. And even if they draw Electrolyze, we can still trade away with this, next turn trade away with that. And then they get a draw step. This is some tight, this is interesting magic, for sure. And again, we'll just trade the board. We'll just chew through these resources. I'm gonna put one more in front of PNQ, PNK and LR. We get wrecked here by Electrolyze, but we beat, like, a removal spell. And now it's just Lingering Souls first. I really want to save that for when my opponent either taps down low or um, we get a discard spell. Because this Ghost Quarter can turn into a trigger for it. I don't really want to just jam this against four open mana when my opponent kept a um, card on top. Looks like it's a spell caller. That's oh, a lightning helix. Okay. We'll take it. So now we're going to go for it. We're going to attack first. My opponent's got to have one card. <clears throat> Unless that was the card they kept on. They're like one of the cards they kept on top. And then if this tracker resolves, we should be golden. Leave the ghost quarter up for more triggers. Come on. Yeah. For to an opponent, Morgan. Yeah, that sucks. What do we got here? Lightning helix. We don't have another basic actually. So we're not going to, um, yeah, we don't have another basic. So we're actually just not going to ghost quarter ourselves. I should have been, I should have been better with that. That was my mistake. I guess we'll get another green source and white source. Now it's just kind of like a race. We're both trading steps. I probably should trade with the Snapcaster. I can traverse for, I guess I can actually traverse for a task here. Serum Visions. Yeah, I guess we're gonna traverse for Tassiger. 
Blue, green, green up there. All right, opponent saw the spell color was good there. <coughs> or they saw like, don't get this because I can get Tasker. So I'm gonna trade here. We knew about that. If we can find a way to get rid of this spell color, we're in good shape. Put a card on the bottom, bottom top. Okay, that's fair. So we trade, I take two. No. All right, that's probably a good play on that opponent. I don't think it's worth ghost courting them to mess up their scry. But no, now it was worth ghost courting to mess up their scry. All right, there's our man. I am just going to try to strip mine him here because he did keep a card on top. So in his upkeep. Trade the land for the scry. Whatever you want. At this point, they probably just get the scry. It happens. Rio and in cubes are hard, man. So again, we're gonna take two, and they didn't search. They kept their card on top. Okay. All right. I guess I shouldn't have done that. So now I think we go, we play this Liliana, we get rid of this uh, Snapcaster. Then next turn, we tick, we jump here, and then we tick down for Tireless Tracker, play Tireless Tracker, and get our clues. We have to block anyway. We don't want to die like the bolt. I guess we don't want to die a lightning bolt. Maybe we just like. See my first time. They're drawing a land. Yeah, I think we're going to play to win. Don't have a spell color. Come on. We drew my flats, which is bad. So our opponent's got planes, X. So we're definitely going to see if we can find, I guess we don't even have a removal spell. We should have kept, let's crack this. All right, dude, don't bolt me. We're gonna hold this in case it's because we can actually just now traverse for scavenging ooze and gain some life. Spells there. Okay. Tick up on this. Get this into play. Maybe play quickly. Um, I probably play Tassier. Uh, we'll get rid of Fatsy's Inquisition, Bobble, our flat planes. And then I just roll. I'm going to get green sources. We're going to just. Hopefully dodge. Oh, God, that's gross. Oh, we were one more turn away. 
But we could have played around that. We could have ticked up and not. That sucks. Hey, Ace, what's going on? We should have been smashed by broken decks. That's sad. We were totally going to win that game. All right, I'm going to grab some water before the last round. Potential hype, here we go. Four ones be sweet. Three more my last two modern deck points for stream. But four ones while streaming is always nice. It's hard. Because like there's a lot going on. Thanks, Suggy. I think it's cool. They're double queuing in a limited PTQ finals. Well, we might get a uh, concession here because they might just like concede to get back into their, their game. All right, we're going to keep this. We're going to bobble ourselves. I like this deck. This is my favorite kind of like, like this isn't a Death Shadow deck. But it's my favorite kind of like mid-range deck in modern. Because it plays like a overgrown tomb. We're gonna want that, so. It plays like a uh, can't even can't even think. Alright, we're playing escape ship. That's bold. So I think I just take the colony heart, because the colony heart's like the most explosive card. This the fact that we have Liliana is good. I actually don't know if that was right or not. Look, I could definitely somebody could definitely like tell me that was wrong. Right? Okay, we're good. Hopefully, that traverse becomes another Tarmogoy. Um, here I might as well get Godless Shrine. I think we're gonna be. It's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty black game. Well, I guess I should have worried about my life total there. Because like, I'm used to playing Death Shadow, and we just don't worry about our life totals. Alright, I'm going to ditch the land. So escape just like unwinnable, right? That's how this matchup works. They're gonna start just they're probably gonna start just ditching lightning bolts. Because they have to be ramping. I always want to ditch the Tarmogoyf to traverse for a Grim Flare. So that we can just find interaction, but that might be too too bold. So they get some bold. That is probably bold. That's bold though, I think. Because, like, the guy should win before the Liliana goes off. Unless he's got another lightning bolt. So, Farseek. Yep. It's a shelter ticket. We don't say. Ditch the land. And we're going to do all this before combat. So, if my opponent ditches anything that grows Tarmogoyf, we get the benefit. They're probably going to get rid of their escape shift. At least that's what I think. They're actually dead next turn if we crack them with two, five, six scores. That was poor sequencing again. 
And we can edict any creature. So that's that's prime. Got it. The nightmare matchup. So actually, to be kind of funny, I didn't get fulminator mages because they were. I rather have like I have like a budget. And the, I was like the only matchup that I actually want fulminator mage in is against this deck or Tron. But like, it's better to fight Tron with other stuff. But we do have some. We do have some ways to hate on this. I like tireless tracker in this matchup. I don't like removing souls. Uh, I like this. Oh, there we go with the twitch alert. What do we got here? Jamie Decklive and Tomcat, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. You guys are great. I'm going to cut the Tasker because he's going to bring in some, more than likely, he's going to bring in some sort of graveyard hate. Um, leave the Abrupt Case to hit Omens and Colony Hard Expeditions. Um, I guess I can bring in Pulse. And I can bring in Streak Mod because it turns my Traverse into a kill spell for like Primeval Titan. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, thank you guys very much for, this, for the follows here. If you guys want to see part of the stream that you missed, you can check out my YouTube channel. It's linked below. It's below. Um, yeah. The stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder, so if you guys uh, ever need Magic Online singles, Card Hoarder is the way to go. Best bot system around. They do a lot for the community. Uh, we're going to ship this. We need this card spell. Um... This hand's not much better, but I don't want to go down any lower. Um, one, two. Like we're gonna want a third land, but I don't think. I think we need like, like I want. I want to draw like an Inquisition or Dot Seas here. That is what I'm looking for. Looking for some kind of action. Okay, so let's. Check out our top card, see what it is. We can figure out when we want to fetch. Okay, we don't want that. So let's go get Godless Shrine tapped and then we pass. And then we'll pass. We drew an ooze, which is basically a blank. Oh, this gives us something to shoot. We can make our voice big. That also means they can kill me on this. No, I guess they can't kill me on this turn. If they had a. No, I don't see how they kill me on this turn. It does mean that, like, Omen is lethal. Not Omen. Um, it does mean that whatever that card is, Hour of Promise is probably lethal next turn. I think I can intervene if them. Also, like, I can let this hang around, and then if they go for it, like if they go to get like a bunch of uh, whatever they are, uh, mountains, or do they just try to get the Valakuts, then with the Valakut trigger on the stack, I can hit the Omen, and then the Valakuts don't see the mountains anymore because they're Valakuts. It's been a while since I've intervened Ift, but I think that is how that works. Then I can like, hit them, hit their, like, green source in their draw step. Right, that's how that works, Archmage, right? So, like, next turn, he omens, or he goes Hour of Promise, and then when the Valakut's on the stack, I knock off the Prismatic Omen, and they don't see it anymore, assuming that he or she doesn't fetch in such a way that still kills me through it, which I don't see how it would. I think I'm going to draw up oh, now that I double green. Ooh, that's bad. We're so dead.
This is my last match bag. Then I'm gonna put my YouTube videos up and then probably head to the store. It's not a plan. This is frustrating that my opponent's double queuing, taking away from my game. This matchup here was actually like the reason that I got done playing Abzan. Was it like, you know, you gotta play against this deck, which is atrocious. Like, you just can't beat this deck with any regularity aside of Surgical plus, um, whatever it is, Surgical plus, anything, Surgical plus Fulminator. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna play Liliana and start taking up. Like, I have to find a way to win and the only way I'm going to do that is if I think if I get Liliana in play and I start pinching his resources. Like, that definitely leaves me open to dying a lot of different ways next turn, which I'm pretty okay with, to be honest. Like, I need the Liliana in order to do anything. Like, I'm, gonna have to, I'm probably going to have to ult this to win the game, and even then, that's still not very good. Here comes an obstinate bailoff, right? That's, that sucks, but at least like I'm not dying. Which is which is good. I think that's kind of a cute play. I don't know. I'm sure they could have done other like obstinate bailoff is sweet, but I'm sure they could have done other things to just like kill me. You know? exile this. It's too late. Sorry. Sorry, sir. So now we're just going to hold up and hit this omen because there's no sense playing another Tarmogoyf because they can just like kill my Tarmogoyf or like make it a zero. Oh, that was the wrong one. Should have gotten rid of the path. That was a mistake. I guess. If my opponent would have popped it, I would have probably just kill his party myself to get one point of damage in. Again, because of this omen, we're gonna make sure that they do it right. If this is a escape shift, like if they just go get all the mountains, if they go get like four Valakets and that's it, then we're just gonna like make sure everything works. One, two, three, four, five. So we can get like three Valakets and four mountains. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we just smoke this with a trigger on the stack and then like hope that works out for us. Definitely we get a swamp. At least I think this works. I don't know if it does or not, but we're gonna find out. Okay, do I get priority? Because five of them came into play. I don't know if it's the sixth one that does it. I'm pretty sure it's the sixth one, the fifth one. I think that I think that kills me all right here. But I'm just gonna make sure. If one of these goes through and kills me, then I'm going to 
like not make my opponent click through all that because it sucks. But I am just gonna make sure it works. I'm not gonna make do everything because that's me. It's not worth my time. I think we are too, but I'm just gonna make sure. As soon as one of these as soon as one of these goes through, then I can see. We didn't all the way down. We died to like ramp spell plus mountain, I guess. There's one. I guess I should just go like this. Let's see what these our opponents got. It's probably just two lands, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Couldn't kill him. If we went Death Shadow deck there, we got him. We got him. That's about one of the main reasons to play Death Shadow, was that just all this, like, um, you just said, like, th this matchup's aces. That's just my bias coming through. I guess we can get this Reclamation Sage. It's probably better than the Maelstrom Pulse, because it's basically a Maelstrom Pulse on legs. Yeah, we'll go like this. Last match of the day, last game of the day. Hopefully, we get the 4-1. We can open some trophies for the Savages. Then we're gonna toss our stuff on YouTube. And then I'm gonna go celebrate the new year. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. We have double discard spell. Hopefully, we rip a land and we can play Liliana. We go discard spell, discard spell, rip a land, Liliana. Like that's that's the game. Plan. And hopefully, Tireless Tracker cleans up the game for us. Get a turn one play. All right, so I definitely want to take Explore. And Farsi. Because they're better. They're better than the Sakura tribe elders. And if they keep Farsi, they keep them around. If they keep Steve's around to fight Liliana, then like that's cool. Okay, so there's some glade. Traverse for a swamp. We'll check out the top card of our opponent's deck. They have a Cinder Blade coming. I guess now we take Summoner's Pack because that, that means my opponent can get a Titan. And then next turn they can just go play Steve. No! Oh, gross. I misclicked. I meant to move it. That's frustrating. So now we just have to play around. I guess they can't pack us yet. Can we draw land? Which we didn't. That's sad. And now we're just dead. We did that to ourselves a little bit. Like, we kept a. Uh, We kept a hand that is, you know, pretty. It's gonna struggle against like mana, or if we get if we don't draw land. 
was on stage shift, so now I have two handoffs. So we probably play Cinder Glade or Valakit. Probably Valakit. Well, I guess at Valakit they risk themselves getting like like Fulminator Surgical. If Fulminator Surgical would be sad. For them. But this is the frustrating part about this deck here, is that, like you just feel you just feel helpless. Yeah, because now they go coming back. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna concede this game here. Because that next turn they just sack this, summoners pack Titan, shoot this, shoot me, pay for it, get enough lands, then scape shift. Yeah. So I appreciate everyone that showed up today. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you guys don't like what you see, then just being here is enough. And I appreciate you guys at least taking the time to check it out. Um, you can find all of my clips in the YouTube page before uh, below. And I hope everyone has a happy new year. And we'll open up our, our pity chest here, as we always do. Yes, happy new year, Archmage. Oh, we've got a decay. Nice. All right. Everyone have a good rest of your day, and Happy New Year.